Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is basically the end of FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. Now, of course, the game isn't going anywhere, but content-wise, after today, it's over. At the same time, though, today's a very important day of FIFA 23 content. In fact, anyone who plans on playing EAFC 24 should be on FIFA today, and we're going to talk about why next. If you're excited for the last FIFA 23 video of the year, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Introducing the kit you never knew you needed until now, the Indy 11 Corn Cob Jersey, a kit set apart from all others simply because it has the juice. With a design so perfect it'll make you want to spread some butter on it and take a bite, this kit is a must for any football kit collection. And it can be yours right now with a limited time offer of $11 off when you get the corn kit and corn scarf together. Click the link in the description to get your corn kit now. Again, if you want to get yourself one of these kits, that link is down below in the description. Now, let's get on with the video and the end of FIFA 23. Really quickly, for about 15-20 seconds, let's reminisce for just a second about this game. Talk about some memories of FIFA 23, guys. The 25,000 coin hero pack tradable in the store that literally turned this game upside down on a random Saturday in the first couple months of this year. We had all of the World Cup content with arguably one of the best World Cup swaps or just the swaps program in general that we have ever had. Those World Cup cards were insane. The heroes, the icons, team of the tournament cards, the phenoms, so many of those cards were super duper insane. That World Cup Viera from swaps was in people's teams until even past team of the season. What a card that was. We had market reset glitches. Remember searching on the market every time and then after you'd back out from your search, it would just like reset automatically for like weeks. I did that and we were just irate at how slow EA was at fixing that issue. And then of course, we can't talk about FIFA 23 without talking about the compensation and all the mistakes that happened during team of the season and even shapeshifters later on this year was crazy. That was one of the biggest mistake ridden in times of FIFA content I have ever seen. Now, today, the end of FIFA 23, it's the end for a reason, guys. And really, it's the end because content after today, I think, is going to really drop off. It's going to be very quiet, maybe nothing at all for these next couple of days. But really, it's the end because today we're getting one last objective that points us towards FC 24 that we all need to be completing. And yes, it is the Join the Club 3. It's worth the video today, guys. I promise you. If you're logging into FIFA 23 at all right now, this this should be the number one thing that you are doing. Join the club objectives because you get insane packs. This pack right here that we get for doing a join the club two is an 82 times 10. We've been talking about this. It's been the reason to log on to FIFA for this last week. Now, today, week three of preseason, join the club three objective, which gives us not one, but two packs an 83 times five and an 84 times seven. Now, the question is, how hard is it going to be to do this objective? Of course, you had to play a decent amount of squad battles games, score in four separate. At least it was very easy to get the Join the Club 2 done. And this one was very similar to the Join the Club 1, which I believe you also had to score in four squad battles, rivals, or champs matches with different leagues. Hopefully, the Join the Club 3 is a little bit easier because I don't want to have to go AFK squad battles anymore. I'm kind of done with playing games on this game. I'm sure a lot of you guys are in that same boat, but whatever the cost, whatever it does uh, or requires today for us to get this objective done, guys, it's a must do. Seriously, 82 times 10, 83, 5, and 84 times 3 at an early stage of October 12th. I know it's not like three weeks, basically after the game drops, it's not that early. Um, it's still going to be very, very helpful and it, you could get an insane promo card or insane high rated gold that's either fodder um, or useful for SPCs or something that goes straight into your team from these packs. If you're playing this game at all right now, I really think that it is worth grinding. So that's my two, two cents there on that. Um, I'm not expecting too much else. The same cards are going to be in packs. As you can see, pre-release, preseason release batch two is in packs for another week, including 99 Mbappe. Now, the real question today is, are we going to get another 99 SBC? And I've hinted at this throughout the week when we've talked a little bit about FIFA 23 content. I think it's very possible, guys. A lot of people really want a 99 Mbappe 
as a SBC, like footies and Mbappe, people want it so bad. And I understand why, especially with the market glitches that happened earlier this week, um, stuff is flying. Mbappe was like 8 mil, now he's 11 million coins, and he's still in packs. It is crazy that a card is this price and 99 rated uh, at the same time, but literally like a week before, we're going to be playing an entirely different game. Guys, I don't know if he's going to get an SBC. And the way and the reason that I think he's probably not getting one, unless EA want to go out of their way to give us the best card in SBCs that they possibly could, is because um, he is in packs right now. And the 99 rated SBCs that we have had so far have featured players that were in Team 1, right? Ronaldo, Messi, Mbappe, we're all in, or sorry, Neymar, we're all in batch 1 of the preseason promo re release. And. Mbappe's in packs right now, but guess who's not in packs? Neymar. Guess who's also extinct on the market because of the whole coin glitch situation that we were talking about? Neymar. There are no Neymars on the market right now for the footies variant, at least. He's only got the team of the season and the Centurions. That's a problem. EA dropped Neymar SBC today. I think it's very possible. Now, could we end up getting an Mbappe maybe like Tuesday? Maybe. But like at that point, it's going to be super expensive to do and probably not worth it. The only way they could maybe actually make today a little bit interesting is give us an Mbappe and a Neymar and a Benzema and a Levin. Like drop all the 99 rated footies cards in as SBCs. Like they could do that. I guess that'd be pretty crazy. But realistically, I'm expecting Neymar today. And I think there's a small chance for Mbappe, but I think that chance is very very small so watch out for that today if you have interest in either of those guys you could go out and you could grind that but the real problem with all that is there's just not that much time left of the game to go out and grind uh, games with those players to make it worth it unless you just enjoy the menu grind and the craft right now which i know a lot of people do now as we're talking about eafc 24 there's even more fc 24 news that is coming out today and realistically guys i think this is the biggest news of today related to eafc 24 yes the join the club objective 3 is pretty massive but this is even bigger we're talking about the full database right we've been seeing posts on twitter all these like ratings and leaks it's so hard to keep it all straight today it's going to be easy to keep it all straight because as ea have said here on their own website come back september 15th at 12 p.m pst which is kind of late that is actually two full hours after the content drops so that will be 8 p.m uk time it'll be 3 p.m eastern and 12 p.m pacific as it shows here and i would also imagine it might take a couple of minutes or maybe even an hour after that as ea go and refresh this entire page which they have not updated since earlier in the week but we are going to have the entire list the full list of player ratings the whole database at our disposal today two hours after content and the reason why that's massive is we're going to be able to get on here and we're going to be able to start building teams and looking through and especially guys as you go here you can click on the filter button sorting man you can't sort through that foot scoreboard database that a lot of people have been using myself included but if you want to sort through players from certain teams and certain um leagues countries i mean it's going to be so easy to do so positions uh you can sort by rank if you want to search for all the 83 or 84 rated cards in the game this is going to open up so many opportunities to get excited for fc24 by learning about what players are going to be in the game finding some overpowered players for starter squads that you maybe want to keep an eye on but also starting to learn and starting to look at maybe really pacey players maybe players that have really good defending or really good dribbling because you want to trade with them earlier on in the game or you're just trying to get a step up by knowing what cards are going to be on the market to start EAFC 24. So that is something. Oh, they fixed Messi's work rate. Okay. So we figured this out the other day, guys. As we expected, Messi's work rates are not medium, medium. Unfortunately, they are still low, low. EA had uh, Messi and Benzema flip flopped. Benzema is medium, medium, and Messi is still low, low. But another thing with, I wonder if we're going to learn a little bit about is can we learn about some of those uh, secondary? alternative positions on a lot of these cards like can Messi play cam can he play right wing that's something i would like to know for a lot of these items i don't think we're gonna know maybe until we get into the game i don't know if that's going to be updated today with the full list of player ratings i doubt it but that is arguably one of the most exciting things that's going to be happening today because once that updates then of course you guys know footbin footwiz foot.gg whatever site you use to build squads a lot of these guys have been um building have been adding the players to their databases so that you can go and build squads 
but it's going to be so much easier with the full entire database for all of these sites and this is really where the squad building and the hype is going to begin because all of these sites will be updated and basically it's from today later in the day until tuesday when we're getting ready to get on the web app or wednesday technically when we do get on the web app for the first time we have from then until or we have from now until then to prepare and really get our minds right, especially for trading and getting this stuff going. Uh, Flippin's adding the work rates to the top of the cards on here. That's that's interesting. That's that's different. And not just the abbreviations for it too, like high slash medium or high high. Interesting, not like H slash L or something for a high low or a H dash H for a high high. That's very interesting. So you can see a lot of these websites are trying to update as fast as they possibly can. But big updates from EA today. Um, I, I think it's probably the last foot champs of the year as well. If you're playing any champs, I am I'm not at all. Um, but if you are playing, probably the last one of the year there. And one thing I would maybe say as well is if you're playing draft, you know, there's some okay cards that are uh, available through that if you really, really want to. I need to go AFK three draft games just to collect the Brendan Aronson card. Um, but there is some stuff in here like Moments Arthur and some other stuff that is expiring today. So maybe you just take a look a little bit at SBCs and stuff if you care that much to look and see what's expiring today. But really, guys, the 85 times 10s are still going to be there. The SBC crafting is still going to be there if you want to do that. Really, it's all about the FC24 content inside of FIFA 23 today. And of course, on the website, that's really going to bring the hype. So that's the video for today. And again, once again, take a look at the link down in the description if you want to get yourself one of these amazing kits from Indy 11. So make sure you check that out. And that's going to be for the last time on this YouTube channel, a FIFA 23 video. Thanks for all the support during the entire year. It's been an absolute blast. I can't wait to do it all again, even bigger and better for FC 24. Let's end with an 85 times 10 just in case. We get something halfway decent. We're going to skip the Tots card because it's probably nothing big. We're searching for 99s. Oh, 98 Rash for a duplicate. Not too shabby. All right, that's a pretty good pull. Ending with a W. We'll rinse that into some other SBC and open some more packs on the stream today. If you want to check that out, stream links down below in the description. But I'll see you guys for an EAFC 24 preparation video tomorrow on the channel. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. See you guys there. Peace.